I'm gonna show you how to set up an event in Discord. I'm using the PC app version, but these steps should be very similar no matter what kind of device you're on. I'm a member of a Discord called PS1, and in order to create an event there, I have to have a role called Event Coordinator. And you can see my name right here, and if I hover above this little blue thing, it says Event Coordinator. I'm not sure if that is the same role in every Discord channel, but that's the way it is for me. I had to ask for that role and I did it by going to the help section of this discord. I just had a conversation with the person that monitors that section and I asked if I can become an event coordinator for Killzone 2. This discord is a bunch of people who play online games together. If you don't have a help section you may have a ticket support section where you can do the same thing and ask for that role. So with the role in hand, I want to make sure I have the right Discord channel selected over here. And then I'm going to click the drop down arrow up here. And I'm going to select create event. It's going to give me two selections. I could do voice channel or somewhere else. If I'm doing an event that takes place on Discord, like a chat with a bunch of other people, I want to pick voice channel. But what I'm doing is I'm creating an invite to come over and play a video game. It's not doing it through Discord. We're all agreeing to come to a certain game and play at a certain time, if that makes sense. There's another one here that I don't have permission to use and that's stage channel. And uh, I have never used that before. But I'm gonna click somewhere else and and I'm gonna say PS1 server. That's the name of the server where we're all gonna meet up and play this game. I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna basically title the event on this line that says, what's your event? I'm gonna say Killzone, oh, uh, I'll say Killzone 2 community event. I'm gonna pick a day. This is gonna be on the first and I'm gonna start it at 2 p.m. Now this is set to my time zone. If you got people in other countries who are looking at this invite, the time is gonna be converted when they view it. And let's end it at six. Right here in the description, I can give a little bit more detail. Join for a day of Killzone 2 multiplayer. I could have added a lot more. It looks like it gives you about a thousand characters, so. But the last step on this page is to upload a cover image. It's giving a recommendation of the size, but um, you can work with pretty much any photo, I believe. I have some images of the game in a folder, and I'm just gonna center it like this. If I wanted to zoom in, I can click this slider like this, but I don't wanna do that. I like this view. So I'm gonna click apply, then I'm gonna click next. It's gonna give me a preview of what the invite would look like to anyone that views it. You'll notice that it says created by me, and it says one person is interested. It automatically counts you as interested because you're the one that created the invite. This number will go up if they click the interested button. If there's a mistake here that you wanna correct, you can go back a screen, but this looks good to me. I'm gonna click create event. It's gonna think for a second. It gave me a link to share the event wherever I wanna share it. If you get an error message that says missing permission, then you won't be able to complete this process until you figure out what that permission is. If you're not getting that error message, then go ahead and skip to this timestamp because I have more to show you about how the invite works. If you are getting the message, have a talk with the admins, but more than likely it's because you don't have two-factor authentication turned on for Discord. Two-factor authentication is a wise security precaution, but if you don't want it, you can turn it on, create the event, and then turn it off. Assuming that's the permission that you need, you can turn it on by going to the gear symbol that's next to your profile name. This takes you to the My Account tab where you'll get a button to enable two-factor authentication. If all that you see is a message that says streamer mode enabled, go to the streamer mode section and disable it. Then return back to my account, click enable two-factor authentication, it may ask you for a password, and then from this screen it'll guide you through the process of setting the feature up. So go ahead and complete that process, then go back and create the event as I showed you before. So hopefully you've done that process and you now are on this screen where your event has been posted and it gives you a link to share it. You can share that in a number of places. I'll show you some spots in Discord where I like to share it. I'm going to click copy 
And before I share the link, I just want to stop by the events section on this Discord. This shows events that have not happened yet. There's one for me, and there's one for another video game that's on the same day. If people come to this Discord and click the events tab, they will see the same thing here. On the day of this event, after it's over, this will disappear from this section. I still have the hyperlink stored on my clipboard. So what I can do is go to this community events section and share it there. I don't know if your particular discord is gonna have a section like that, but this is a good place for me to put it. And you can see it just basically puts a copy of that event tab here. People can interact with it they can click interested right here. So I could take myself off the interested listing as well, but I'm gonna keep it on there. But the main place I wanna share it is where all the kills on two players are at. So we have our own little room here and it's done. So that's how you create an event. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Have a good day, everybody.